Today I noticed my sadness. I noticed my sadness when my morning cup of coffee offered no sensation, not even the warmth it usually provides. I noticed my sadness when I ate breakfast but didn't want to. I noticed my sadness as I shut the door to my office, contemplating the prospect of home, of becoming invisible under the covers of my bed. I noticed my sadness when I texted, called, sat in meetings, habituated to these actions, but secretly aware of nothing but sadness. I noticed my sadness at night when I wanted sleep to come, but it didn't. I noticed my sadness the next day too. I noticed as it enveloped my brain, refusing to allow my body its freedom to remove the blankets, rotate, and touch its feet to the wooden floorboards. I noticed my sadness when I emailed my boss to say, I won't be coming into the office today. I'm sick. So sorry about this. Hope you have a great day. I noticed my sadness when I cried, when I desperately wanted the pain to stop, when I heaved and I cut and felt the burning sensation of relief on my forearms. I noticed my sadness when he called. I noticed my sadness when he didn't. On the third day, I didn't notice my sadness. I didn't notice my sadness as I navigated a morning routine immersed in indifference. I didn't notice my sadness when my mind suggested escape. I didn't notice my sadness as my eyes scanned the window, as escape continued to undulate, pound, and swell within me. I didn't notice my sadness until I touched the window. Cold, damp, burdened with potential. I noticed my sadness. And I didn't want to exist anymore amidst all my sadness.